Hello everyone, welcome to Atlas TI 8 for Windows. I am Ricardo Contreras, I direct the training division of Atlas TI. We have created for you a set of video tutorials that explain the different procedures involved in a typical analysis project with Atlas TI 8 Windows. These procedures um, involve things related to creating a project and setting up the project, uh, document organization, how do we do so that we can group our documents well in order to facilitate our analysis. How do we go through the process of segmenting and coding our data? How do we go through the process of visualizing linkages, the linkages that we create as we work in our project? How do we write down our reflections? How do we write down our narratives in which we uh, develop our understanding of the data? And also, how do we go through the process of interrogating Atlas TI and producing outputs that we can use in our, in our writing? Let me start by giving you an overview of the interface. So here we are. This is the interface of the newest version of Atlas TI. Uh, we have on top what we call the ribbons, a ribbon system. Uh, we have uh, the ribbon tabs, first home, where we have a number of different options. I will describe them in a few minutes. Then we have the tab for search and the project, the ribbon tab for analyzing the data, importing and exporting data, and options for support. We also have one where the first one that says file, and that takes us to a number of different options related to creating a new project, opening up an existing project, saving and saving as the project, merging, merging to uh, Atlas TI 8 Windows project, uh, exporting uh, the project as a bundle file, what we call in this version, a transfer bundle. Uh, and, and, and the usefulness of that is that you can export the project in one computer and, and import it in, in another one. Closing the project, uh, different options, license about Atlas TI, and exit as well. So let me go back. All right, so let me start by showing you the first ribbon, which is Home. In Home, we see the options for adding documents, add files, add all from a folder. So you select a folder and everything inside of that will be added. Add linked video and audio, which means that um, if you have big files, big audio video files, you can add them in a special way. And a new geo document. And as you will notice, when you place the cursor on an option, uh, there is a text below that explains what that means. So that is very nice, and you will find that in all of the features of Atlas TI 8 for Windows. Uh, new entities is to create a new code, a new memo, as well as a new network. Uh, the navigator is what we see on the left side, uh, where now you see the explorer, but you can select different elements, such as just the documents, you see, or just the quotations. Well, I selected the codes, the memos, and so on. Uh, but let me stay here with the Explorer, which gives me an overview of everything. And there we have the same documents, quotations, uh, and uh, the Explorer, which is the first option, the first option in the Navigator. Then we have the option to uh, write a comment on the project, which really means that you go there if to to say what you intend to do in this analysis project. Automatic coding is the option to code automatically. So you ask Atlas TI, well, uh, what have people uh, uh, said uh, in regards to the following concept? So you define a code, and then you tell Atlas TI, look for the following words. And when you find any of these words, select the segment in which the word is found, and do an automatic coding of those data. Then we have what we call the managers, which are windows where we can access our documents, our quotations, 
our codes, memos, networks, and links. The Project Explorer, which is a, 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 um, a, a hierarchical view of our project, of all of the components, uh, a docs, which is which is the, the the procedure to connect audio and video uh, documents with written transcripts, switch users from one user to the other, uh, and uh, feedback provide feedback here. Well, then we have search project, which is a tool that allows us to uh, to look for keywords in context, um, either on a, on documents or on a specific objects of the project, specific components, such as uh, everything said about health in a memo, right? The memo is the space where you write, where you create your narratives. Uh, but you can also select all of the objects and Atlas DI will do a search all over the project for a specific term that you will define here. Then the tool for analyzing uh, the, the, the data a query tool, which is significantly improved from earlier versions, uh, co uh, code co occurrence explorer table and document table, which is which is a code frequency tool. Uh, import export is uh, the option to import Twitter data, Evernote data, EndNote, EndNote. Uh, but not only that, you can also import uh, Mendeley, Sotero or reference manager data. Uh, you only have to make sure that the, the, the records are, are exported as, as EndNote compatible XML file in that format. And then you can import that into Atlas DI. You can import um, survey data, and that comes from earlier versions in Excel or CSV. And you can also export uh, the project to SPSS for analysis, for statistical analysis. And then the options for support, for reporting a problem that you're having with the software, for sending a suggestion or, or a recommendation. If you see the need to implement a specific procedure, well, please feel free to click there and send your recommendations, okay? Uh, this will give you access to the Quick Tour Manual uh, the re system report and a number of different useful links and let me highlight here our YouTube channel because that is where you will see all of these videos. All right, um, so on the left side we have the navigator where we have the main uh, components of every project. So first is the documents. The documents are the sources of information Okay, so a number of different documents here in different formats. This is a video document, as you see. This Within each document is what we uh, call the quotation. The quotation is a segment that you select in the document, right? Something that calls your attention. The quotation is always represented by a vertical bar on the margin. So that is one quotation in document number one. Let me go to this other document here. This is another quotation, a graphical quotation. Uh, let me click over here, document number six. This is another one and so on. Then we have the codes. The codes are these uh, conceptual constructs that we attach to, to quotations in order to represent the essence behind what the person is saying. So we have our list of codes, we can color them. Uh, and if you uh, double click on one of them, let me double click on this one here, we will have access to all of the quotations uh, connected uh, to this code. So you double click on one, the other, and the other. So in other words, uh, what are these study participants the campaign is done in this room. Uh, saying in regards to funding from foreign sources? right and there you will go one by one and you will be able to get to that information always in context we also have here our memos these are this 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 notebooks that we have where we write our understanding of the data so let me open one of them here this is a research diary that i am writing um, and this is another one and so on 
and our networks. Networks are visualizations of the linkages that we create as we work with our project. Uh, so let's take a look at one of these here, uh, funding. Let me take a look at funding here. And we have a layout, orthogonal. So these are some interesting automated uh, uh, um, uh, layouts that we can use. Orthogonal tree, circular. Let me try circular here, but let me change the routing of the lines to polyline. Let's see how it looks. That looks nicer, right? So Atlas TI um, 8 Windows comes with a number of different options for, uh, for representing your linkages. Uh, let me take a look at this one over here to see. So, well, we have a video, of course, in which I will be showing all of these different options. For, but just for you to see, uh, this is a graphical representation of the linkages that we create between the different elements that make up a project as we engage in the process of making sense. Uh, we also have uh, our, our uh, document groups. Uh, which are which is the organization of our documents according to share characteristic or share attributes, right? Everybody who is gender female, everybody who is who was interviewed in London and things like that. The code groups we can also uh, group our codes, our conceptual constructs. So what have people said? in regards to funding. What are the concepts that we have created in relation to the, to the domain funding? Well, church funding, desire for financial independence, and so on. So we are grouping our codes according to shared characteristics as well. Uh, memo groups, we can group all of our, of our memos. If you are a good writer, well, maybe you will produce a lot of memos and you can group them together. The same thing as networks. Another thing that comes with Atlas TI-8 that, that is very interesting is that you can, you can place, for example, your memo uh, here below so that you are, uh, you are reading uh, uh, your documents like this one here and then you are coming to the memo and you are, uh, you are writing, right? As you, as you explore this, uh, you write what you learn. Okay, so this is interesting that you can have uh, uh, memos uh, kind of in a quasi-simultaneous way or, or coexisting, perhaps I should say, with your documents. But not only that, but you can also have uh, your networks here. Let me get one of these networks here and I will dock it in the main window. And I will place this, this uh, new tab group to the right. Okay, so there you go. So you have your memo on the left side where you are reflecting. On the right side, you have a network representation. You can, you can zoom in a little bit, make it bigger. And above, you have the documents with which you are working. Uh, you can also have uh, one document um, next to the other. So you have one document here and another one over there. Uh, mm, well, 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 let me see here. It's the same one. Yeah, looks like it's the same one. So I did not select the right document. Let me pick this one over here. Okay, there you go. So one on the left side, one on the right side. And of course, if you want to get rid of this navigator, you can certainly do that so that you have more space. So uh, this integration is very nice in Atlas TI 8 Windows. It allows us to work across documents, across sources of information, but also it allows us to very easily integrate uh, the exploration of our documents, segmentation and coding with writing and with visualization. So all everything right there next to you. Still talking about this, we can also we can also uh, um, do this. We can go here and make this window float, okay? Which means that we can send it to another screen. So that that is very very useful. 
And another, another feature that comes with Atlas TI uh, 8 is that uh, is, there is a very powerful undo and redo uh, 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 tools. Uh, you can undo and redo up to 100 steps, okay? So you can undo one, up to 100 steps going back. So that can be very, very useful. Well, that is all for now. This, this was an overview of the interface of Atlas TI 8 for Windows. And now go ahead and watch the uh, video tutorials that we have created for you. But also, uh, always uh, consider uh, reading the quick tour manual. Thank you all of you. Goodbye. Thank you.